Hey everyone, welcome to Cloud Data Labs. I'm Mariusz Repczyński and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a link service in Synapse connecting to Azure SQL database using System Assigned Managed Identity as authentication method. Using this approach has various benefits, one of them being the elimination of the need to store your credentials and secrets in the key vault. You can just use your application's identity to log into the database. Let's begin by going to our Synapse workspace. Click on Manage from the left-hand menu and select Link Service. Next, click on New to create Link Service and search for Azure SQL. Choose Azure SQL Database and click Continue. Now select your subscription the SQL Server you want to connect to, and the database. For authentication type, select System Assign Manage Identity. Now copy the Manage Identity's name as you will need it later to create user in Azure SQL Database. Now let's test the connection. To do this, you need to enable interactive authoring. Once enabled, click Test Connection. And as you can see, the connection failed due to firewall issues. To fix this, go to your Azure SQL Server resource and select Networking from the left-hand menu. Here, click on Allow Azure Services and Resources to access the server. Next, we need to add your client IP address to the firewall rule as well. Now let's save the changes to make sure that they are applied. To allow Azure SQL Server to work with Azure Active Directory and Manage Identities, navigate to Azure Active Directory. Click on Set the Admin. Search for and select yourself, then click Select. Make sure to save it so that the changes are applied. Now let's go to SQL Databases and select the database you want to connect to using your link service. Here go to Query Editor and use Active Directory Authentication to log in. In Query Editor, provide the script to create a user using the Manage Identity username we copied earlier. Now let's assign a role to this user and run the script. Once the query succeeds, go back to Synapse Workspace and test the connection for the link service again. As you can see, this time it's a success. So we can press Commit to save the changes. Now let's create a pipeline to verify if we can get data from this Azure SQL Server database. To do this, click on Integrate, Add Pipeline, drag and drop lookup activity from General Activities. Here in the Settings pane, click on New to create dataset. Search for and select Azure SQL Database and press Continue. Choose the link service you just created and press OK. Switch to Query in the Use Query section and provide SQL syntax to retrieve names from the Sys Users table. Now let's click Debug and wait for the pipeline run to complete. 
If it's successful, check the output which should return the first row containing a username. And that's it. By following these simple steps, you have created a link service to the Azure SQL database using System Assigned Managed Identity as the authentication method. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.